In today's video, I'm gonna be comparing the new Xiaomi 11T with my professional photography camera, the Canon EOS R6. As some of you may know, I actually did a comparison between the iPhone 13 Pro and my professional photography camera, and I invited my friend Alan to come see if he was able to spot the difference between the iPhone 13 Pro and my professional photography camera. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna do exactly the same. I'm gonna compare the photo capabilities of this phone with my Canon EOS R6. And what I want is you guys to try and guess which one is which. Now, this is not a review video. I'm not gonna be talking about all the specs on this phone because you can find many videos online talking about that. This video, it's only gonna be a little game for you guys to be able to guess what was shot on what. So yesterday I went out and I took a bunch of photos with my Canon EOS R6 and also with the Xiaomi 11T. I tried to match as much as I could the two photos to make them pretty much identical. And after, when I got home, I edited both pictures, the one shot in the Canon and the one shot in the Xiaomi 11T, with exactly the same presets. And the presets I use are part of my new collection that I just launched called the Urban Pack. So if you guys wanna check it out, the link is down below. So what do you think is gonna happen, guys? Do you think you will be able to guess the difference between the photo shot on the Xiaomi 11T and the Canon EOS R6? Well, let's see. Now, before we begin, I want to mention that this phone is quite a beast. It has three cameras, the main one being 108 megapixels, that's quite a beast. The second one is an ultra wide camera with 8 megapixels, and it also has a 5 megapixel tele macro camera. I tested the tele macro camera, and the photos came out pretty cool. Like, you can actually get the phone very, very close. And the amount of detail was very interesting. I took some example of photos so you guys can see. So yes, I actually really like the telemacro camera, the fact that you could get that close and be able to get that amount of detail. So before we start guessing, I want to mention that in order to match certain photos with my Canon EOS R6, I had to shoot with the portrait mode on. Unfortunately, I couldn't take all the photos shooting in RAW and I couldn't take all the photos in the Pro mode that is actually really good. The Pro mode allows you to change the white balance, the shutter speed, the ISO manually, just like if it was my Canon EOS R6. But for the sake of this video, I couldn't do that because it didn't let me select what I wanted to get on focus and what depth of field I wanted to use. But in order to match my photos with my Canon EOS R6, I had to use a lot of the times the portrait mode so it allowed me to change the aperture and I could match it better with the camera. So in order to make this game a little bit more fun, I'm gonna show you the photos only for 15 seconds. I'm gonna show you photo A for five seconds. I'm gonna show you photo B for five seconds. And then I'm gonna show you A and B together for five seconds. Doing it this way, it'll be a little bit more harder to spot which one was shot on the phone. So I'm gonna show you all of them back to back. There's 12 photos. And what I want you to do is to write on a paper which ones you think are the ones shot on the Xiaomi 11T. And at the end, when I showed you all the photos, I'm gonna go one by one and show you which ones were shot on the phone. And then you guys can check how many you got correct. And guys, don't cheat. Just let it play and write your answers. And at the end, I'll tell you which ones are what. Okay, ready? Let's go. Thank you. 
time. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think got the 12 of them correct? My personal opinion is that it's quite easy to guess which one is which, but I still wanted to do the test and I still wanted to do the little game with you guys. So you know what? Let's review and let's see how many of you got the 12 correct. Okay, so photo number one. This photo actually was edited with my Toronto preset of my Urban Pack. The one shot with the Xiaomi was B. I think this one was pretty easy, let's be honest. Come on, like I started very easy so everyone could get the first one correct. But if we go into Lightroom right away, I think what gives it away to me is this background, out of focus background. Like if I zoom in, I think I can see right away all this background, it's exactly the same kind of blurriness and out of focus. And I don't know if you guys could see, but if you go around the edges, you can actually see that it's a little bit soft versus here. So this photo was taken on portrait mode. As you can see, I was trying to match depth of field. So that was the first one, pretty easy. Let's go for the second one. So the second photo was a little bit more challenging because what I did is I didn't give any separation between the character, me, and the background. So it was hard to see this digital out of focus when we're shooting in the portrait mode. And the answer of which one was shot on the Xiaomi is B. Photo B was the one taken on the Xiaomi. So I think this one is a little bit harder to see. Maybe the color is slightly different because the preset actually doesn't apply the same. But if we zoom in, that I know you guys couldn't zoom in, but if we zoom in, I can show you the amount of detail. Like, I don't know if you can see, but my face seems that it's been like painted in a brush a little bit. And here you have much more detail. But this one was a little bit tricky. I have to say that this one, if we look at them like this, it's pretty hard. So this one was tricky. I made, I made this photo to trick you a little bit. So this one was B. Let's go for the third one. The third photo, the one shot on the Xiaomi was A. Yes, A. So if we open in Lightroom, again, I think this phone actually does a pretty good job, to be honest with you. Some of the photos are pretty hard to tell. Like this is the first time I use an Android phone. I'm an Apple and Mac person. And it's not that I hate Android or any of these kind of phones, but I never get to use them. So it was pretty interesting and I'm actually pretty surprised. But let's go a little bit deeper into it. Let's try and find where the differences are here. Again, if we zoom in, you'll see right away that it always seems that there's some sort of like noise reduction working here. If you look at her skin, for example, we have much more detail on the Canon. And again, that is normal. Like the Canon EOS R6 is a professional camera. It's like $5,000 with the lens, the camera and everything. And this is a phone, like, you know what I mean? Like it's normal that there is a difference, but only if we zoom in, we kind of see it, right? Okay, photo number four. Let's see what you guys guessed. And the right answer for what photo was shot on the Xiaomi is B. So this photo was edited using my preset Kyoto from my Urban Pack. I have to say that I'm pretty happy about how my presets work on the RAW files of my Canon R6 and how they work on the JPEGs on the phone. You can still see some difference in the color, but this is pretty much just applying the preset and they look like that. Now, if we zoom in, I think what it gives it away in this photo, of course, there's a little bit of shift in the hue, but if we again zoom in, if we look at her hat right here, we can see that there's like almost like a line. You guys can see this line and you don't have this line here. That's when the phone is working the portrait mode and trying to separate the background from the foreground. It creates this line. I think that's what it gives it away. But if you guys saw anything else, just put it in the comments. Okay, I think number five is pretty easy. And the correct answer for what was shot on Xiaomi, it was B again. So let's go check it out on Lightroom. I think this one, honestly, was pretty easy. I can see right away, first of all, all this blurriness here. It looks so digital and fake versus this. Um, and then my skin tone actually came out kind of weird, a little bit red or not. It seems like there's some sort of noise reduction again and I was painted in a brush. 
and here we can see much more detail in my face. Okay, number six, that one was probably the easiest one, but I just wanted to do a test with black and white, but it's pretty obvious that it was A, right? If you look at her face, same thing again, but you can see that it's kind of over sharpened, and at the same time, her skin looks so smooth. But like, look at the detail, look at the difference. I mean, it's crazy, right? Then if we look at the highlights, this is a little bit weird what happened up here. The roll off here of the highlights looks so much better. I wanted to do one test black and white just to see no color, no difference in hue, but I think the quality, the sharpness, and this kind of like smoothness that the phone does, it gives it away right away. Okay, so for number seven, the correct answer was, a. I think this one, despite being very similar, I think there was one detail that gave it away, in my opinion. That is, if we zoom right here, without even zooming, you can see the hand. This is such a weird thing happening in her hand that is kind of out of focus, but this is sharp. Probably here, the phone didn't detect that this was part of the hand and detected that it was part of the building. And I think that's what gave it away. Um, and also, again, like the fact that the entire building has exactly the same blurriness and she is sharp, like that's what gives it away to me. So basically, yeah, A is the one shot in the Xiaomi. So for this one, I wanted to test how the lens flare effect, and I was pretty surprised about how this phone handled the lens flare. The iPhone 13 had a very weird and bad lens flare, but this one did pretty good. Okay, so... So the one shot on the Xiaomi was B. We check the lens flow, it's very like smooth and even versus this one. By the way, all these photos were shot on my Canon EOS R6 and the lens I used was the 2470 2.8 L series by Canon. But this lens flow here is pretty ugly. This photo actually, I would say that I almost like better the one shot on the Xiaomi, I'm not gonna lie. For this photo, I use the preset New York City of my urban pack. Next one is photo number nine. And the correct one, the one shot on the Xiaomi was... A. And again, at this point, I think it's pretty easy to see when it comes to her face. For some reason, I feel that there's less contrast in her face you see the difference in contrast and also the sharpness. The sharpness gives it away right away. Look at her eyes. It's like when you crank sharpen all the way to the top. Much more detail, of course, on B. And as you can see here, highlights very blown up. Even though I have to say that this one's been pretty good because you can also shoot HDR and it handles pretty well the highlights. I really like how this phone is performing so far. Okay, let's go for number 10. Okay, number 10, I have to say that this one, I think it's pretty hard. I don't know if you guys saw it right away or not. When I finished editing these two photos, I was like, wow, these photos actually are pretty similar. So the correct one, the one shot on the Xiaomi was A. This photo, by the way, was edited using my preset Lima from my album pack. Honestly, I don't know. I don't really know exactly what gave it away. Probably the background, the blurriness. Uh, maybe these highlights are a little bit more blown up if you zoom in. You can see this kind of like line here and here. Again, the roll off is much better. Um, but I think the phone did a really good job here using the portrait mode. When I was testing the iPhone, I saw that using portrait mode was, was a disaster. It was pretty much every time very easy to see. Um, but in this case, I'm pretty impressed. Even her hair here, I mean, you can see here a little bit. Um, the detail is, is obviously here. So if you guys spotted that, you probably noticed right away that this one was the shot on the phone. But I have to say that this one is pretty good. Okay, so for this photo, I used my preset name Vienna. It is a little bit more aggressive, more desaturated, and the darks are very milky. And the answer to which one was shot on the Xiaomi is B. Yes, B. Even though I'm pretty impressed here as well, I think potentially what gave it away is maybe if we look back here, all these areas kind of looks like very soft and a little bit kind of like weird versus here we have so much detail. At least that's what, what I think. Um, maybe you guys saw something else different, 
uh, overall. I mean, if you look here, the detail on the cap also like it's very like over sharpened again. But yeah, I think what gives it away is actually this part in the background. Okay, the very last one, guys. And the correct answer is B. B again. For this photo, I use my preset name Rio. I think again, what it gave it away, I always try to look at the parts that are out of focus. So I think all this area, look, if I zoom in, it's all evenly out of focus again, versus if I'm here, you can see that over there is a little bit more out of focus and here's a little bit more sharp. So when you compare these side by side, I think that's pretty much what gives it away. The color here is a little bit different again, but that's because of the preset. It's kind of like affecting them differently. And I don't know what else. I don't know if you guys were able to see, for example, the detail on her pants that here is again. It seems like the phones somehow bring the sharpen and the, the texture up versus here is more like natural. But yeah, I think the background is what gives it away. But I really want to know what you guys think about each one of the photos. Um, of course, the, all the photos, they don't match perfectly when it comes to hue. That's actually because I just applied the preset and I didn't really like do much to the photos besides exposure. But yeah, I'll be interested to know how you guys spot them. So that was it. Those were the 12 different photos that I shot and edited with the R6 and the phone. In my opinion, I think it was pretty easy to know which one was shot on the Xiaomi. Also, I gave you such a short amount of time to see it. I mean, otherwise I think it would have been very easy, but that was part of the game. Now, I wanna know how many of you guessed right and wrong. I think majority of the photos were pretty simple to know, but some others maybe were a little bit more tricky. I think overall I have the same thoughts as I had with the iPhone 13. I think the photography capabilities of these new smartphones are just crazy are really good to the point that if I show you two photos very quick it's very hard to know but still these tools cannot be used for professional photography can be used for social media online content but again I think this is a great tool you have it in your pocket you can take a photo at any moment in time I mean 108 megapixels I don't even know who won 108 megapixels to be honest with you the truth is I also wanted to do a video comparison but to be honest with you, this is not like the iPhone. And when I was shooting video, I realized that the quality is just not there on the Xiaomi's. When it comes to photo, it's pretty good. Video, I don't think it's there. The iPhone had much more potential than this. Despite not being an Android user, I would still recommend this phone for people who like photography, people who want to learn photography, because it has the pro mode that allows you to change the settings and that's also a good way to start learning photography. And maybe, again, this is your way to get into photography and to buy like a mirrorless or a DSLR or a professional camera and start getting into it. So yes, really good job, Xiaomi. This phone is really good for photography. And just a friendly reminder, I just released my preset pack, my urban pack. So all the photos that you have seen, they were edited with my presets. So if you guys wanna check it out, the link is down below. And that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little game we played. Hopefully it wasn't too easy for everyone. And please let me know how many you got right out of the 12. And if you got the 12 right, that's fine. And if you did some mistakes, that's fine too. Maybe you can write which ones you couldn't see or which ones you couldn't see the difference. That's also interesting. And as always, if you like this video, just hit the like button. It actually helps me a lot to grow on YouTube. And if you like this kind of content, video editing, phone reviews, photography reviews, comparisons, just hit subscribe. My name is Mauri Dearo. I'm an editor, photographer, and videographer. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys very soon. Wow, it's 10 p.m. already, pretty late. Honestly, guys, making these YouTube videos is actually fun, but it also takes a lot of time. I'm really tired, and I have all this set up to like put back to normal. But I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully very soon I'll be doing the same with the Google Pixel. We can do the same thing and compare and guess which one was shot on what.